Well, to, to set the scene for this Leasing Life event, I wanted to really highlight the climate transition and the pivot role of equipment finance in that respect. The new technology, new solution, new assets requirements, and all of that in the context of huge volatility that we have to live with now. Do we have the right people? Do we have the right succession? Do we have the right diversity and inclusion? I mean, I think that's that became very, very, very evident. And then what are the new sustainability uh, opportunities that we see as climate change becomes more and more important, as, as companies try to embrace the sustainability mission? How can we in this industry support them on that journey? As an industry and the world need to recognize, we need to shift from just driving purely economic growth to really driving the sustainable growth. And we as a leasing industry have a key role to play in that uh, transition from short-term orientation of profit to more long-term orientation and the shareholder value. So we see the markets less buoyant uh, than what it was in 21 and 22. But now most of the manufacturers have the capacity to deliver assets quickly. They fix the supply chain issue and all the dealer yards are full of assets, stocks. And the manufacturers are changing the way uh, they are thinking. Two years before, their problem was to produce assets, to deliver. Now their problem is to sell. And that's a fantastic news for our business uh, because they want to boost sales and we are part of the solution to help them to accelerate sales. Key risks that I see converging today in the technology uh, I spoke about the material risk, which means, you know, everything that has to do with supply chain disruptions that we have seen in Corona time, um, about the second risk, which I consider for the environment risk, and of course, you know, with the technology accelerating, e-waste is accelerating, and what does this to the environment? And the last um, was cybersecurity. So I spoke about the converging of these three risks and the fact that I see circular economy as a way to resolve uh, part of these risks and also why not de-risk uh, the businesses today.